Welcome back everybody. Glad everybody come back to enjoy another video. Uh, this one we are doing some uh, patina lettering on a really cool old farm truck. And I apologize, I forgot to get some audio of this, uh, this truck running. It had a 400 small block in it. It sounded so good. I hate that I didn't get it running or moving pictures of it or anything. Uh, it sounded really good and it all underneath the hood was all detailed. Uh, just real clean like a show truck under the hood but then the outside of the truck was all patinaed and everything it was just a really cool truck the guy did an excellent job on it it looks really good sounds good all that and uh, this one I did a little bit of a different style of my patina uh, from one of the other ones the last one on how to do patina lettering or whatever I called that video um, I did it kind of the same way but in this one, I tried to use some flat uh, flattener in it so I didn't have to go back and scuff it. And, um, and you can see right here, it's going on really, really thin. And I just kept messing with the consistency of adding the collar to the clear to get the right coverage. And right there, it is the right coverage that I was going after. And I said I used some uh, flattener in this. I used some uh, baby powder. I, it sounds weird. Uh, I've seen some other guys talk about it and this is the first time I've tried it and it really works. It really works good. You've got uh, the consistency I found uh, or the, the ratio that I like was about maybe 50-50, 50% uh, 50 baby powder to 50% paint. Uh, but you just got to play with it till you get the right, uh, the right mixture that you like for the right amount of flatness. That's what I found that works and it worked pretty good um, they still had a little bit of a shine to it but this guy is going to clear this thing at some point so it didn't really matter but i was more or less playing with it to see how it worked to see how flat it really got and a lot of times i don't uh, show doing both both sides uh, both doors because i figured it would kind of be boring to see both sides but i did put it in here and i sped up the the one side more than the other uh, just because both doors are kind of two different colors and the designs look different on both sides So I wanted to throw it in there just to have some contrast to both sides one at one sides orange and just straight orange and the other sides Scuffed off orange brown red all that. So so I just wanted to give you guys a different thing to look at here, but uh, I'm gonna quit talking and just let you guys watch and put some music going
Here's the finished project all done, the whole truck. Uh, it turned out just so good. I'm so happy with how it turned out. It's about one of my favorites I've done so far, just with the learning the new techniques and everything. And it was a real fun job to do, and we'll just be on to the next one. I appreciate you all guys watching, and uh, please like, comment, and subscribe, because it does help us out. Thanks.